Yo, my name is Julian Melnick, and welcome back to the Console Gaming Channel. That's right, we are console gamers, and we're here to figure out what's the best value, Xbox's Game Pass or PlayStation Now? Well, that's a loaded question, and we need to dive in, dig deep, and figure out which system is going to offer you the greatest amount of value. So let's start with... PlayStation. PlayStation has PlayStation Now, PlayStation Plus, and EA Play accessible to them. Uh, anyone who owns a PlayStation will need to have PlayStation Plus in order to play online games. Now, a few games that will be omitted from that are some of the big, big, heavy-duty free-to-play games such as Warzone or Fortnite or Apex. Those actually awesomely enough do not require PlayStation Plus to enjoy the online capabilities. Good on you, PlayStation. Now, with PlayStation Plus, you also get a couple free games a month downloadable to your system, but you need to make sure that your PlayStation Plus account is active in order to use those games. So, that's a thing. PlayStation Now is their answer to on-demand gaming with downloadable options for a select few games, and most of them are going to be streaming. And they have a catalog of games that are rotating. They add stuff here and there. In fact, I think they're adding some Sonic ones coming up. And uh, that's that. And EA Play is EA's way of getting involved in it's just a bunch of games by EA and you just download them on your machine, you're good to go. And that's PlayStation, Xbox, what do they got for you? Well, Xbox has got exact same type of suite, but it's a little different. They have Xbox Live Gold, which is their required online service and you get a couple games a month as well as some discounts when you are downloading video games or purchasing video games. The same is available on PlayStation Plus, discounts wise. And then they have Game Pass. Game Pass is their answer to on demand and all of those games are downloadable to your machine. In fact, they all need to be downloaded. You can't stream any of them. And lastly, EA Play is available to that as well. Except there is a little twist with Xbox, and that is something called Game Pass Ultimate, which is a combination of all of those three wrapped into one service, and we will dive deeper into what that is. Now with Game Pass and PlayStation Now, those are the two main services that both of these systems offer people at a monthly rate to get involved with streaming or playing games on their system. In fact, you don't have to purchase any games, you can just solely rely on PlayStation Now or Game Pass to use your systems, which is pretty cool, except the game's selection is kind of weird. Now, with the two different options that you have, those two also deliver their content in very specific ways. Xbox being one that delivers it directly to your machine. You have to download it. It has to live on your machine, uh, and so that takes an internet connection. And when you get it onto your machine, you can play it. As long as you have your membership active, you can play the games on your machine. Now, PlayStation's a little different, and it's kind of a double-edged sword. You can either download the game, a select few will allow you to download, but what they have is streaming. So if you do not have a good internet connection, then you're gonna find yourself kind of out of luck because you have to stream the game. And before we get into the last, there's gonna be pricing and a little twist. If you're gaining value, hit that like button. If you'd like to be a part of this community, it's real simple. And only if I've earned it, hit that subscribe. And uh, lastly, share this with a friend. Share this with someone who's looking or trying to figure out which system are you gonna get? Because each one of these systems does deliver value and these services are part of that value. So let's talk about what this looks like if you are going to purchase all of the different services at once in one year, maximizing the discounts that you get for that year. For PlayStation, it's going to be $149.97, and I'll grant you PS Now, PlayStation Plus, and EA Play. Now, for Xbox, it gets a little different. With the Game Pass Ultimate, you're going to pay $179.98, but Game Pass also offers the first three months for $1. Yeah, that's right, $1, which makes it $135.91 for Game Pass Ultimate. So, which one offers more value? Well, personally, I think Game Pass Ultimate offers the most value because that's not just on your Xbox, that's just on your PC. And you get to play remotely on xCloud. So, there's a lot of value wrapped into Game Pass and they keep adding these AAA titles. PlayStation's offerings are just a little behind schedule. I'm waiting for them to add some titles that are gonna be really awesome and really, really heavy hitting, but right now, they're just hitting us with those greatest hits, and there are some good ones, don't get me wrong. There's the Arkham series, the Batman series, there's Kakarot, there's some Dragon Ball Z games on the PlayStation, but when it comes to these systems, I just gotta give the edge to the Xbox. Now that we have all that information taken care of, which one are you gonna choose? Is this gonna be a PlayStation easy win for you, or is it going to be an Xbox one? Now, personally, I have both. I will say that Game Pass is blowing my mind in PlayStation. Well, there's just nostalgia all wrapped into that machine, so I can't give that up either. It's a hard choice to make, and I want to know what choice you made. Let me know in the comments. And last, but certainly not least, 
happy game.